Hello everybody, welcome to Joyce Daughter of God. My name is Amy and today it is May 13th, 2023. And today's daily scripture readings are found in Ephesians chapter 4 verses 25 through 32 and Isaiah chapter 40 verses 31, but I will be reading Isaiah chapter 40 verses 29 through 31. As always, let us get to the index scripture first. So Ephesians chapter 4 starting at verse 25 and the word says therefore putting away lying let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor for we are members of one another be angry and do not sin do not let the sun go down on your wrath nor give place to the devil let him who stole still no longer but rather let him labor working with his hands what is good that he may have something to give him who has need let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth but what is good for necessary edification that it may impart grace to the hearers and do not grieve the holy spirit of god by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption let all bitterness wrath anger clamor and evil speak can be put away from you with all malice and be kind to one another tender-hearted forgiven one another even as god and christ forgave you amen and then i just have on the index card do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God. And now let us go to Isaiah chapter 40. And we're starting at verse 29. And the word says, He gives power to the weak. <clears throat> and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary. And the young men shall utterly fall. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Let me reread verse 31. But those who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Amen. Thank you, Lord, that all of us who wait on you, you will renew our strength. We will be able to run and not be weary. We shall be able to walk and not faint, but we are called to wait upon you. And so, Lord, help us to wait on you and to trust you. And to believe that you got everything in control and to have faith. Help us, Lord. Well, you all, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night whenever you come across this video. God bless each and every one of you all. And I will be back tomorrow, Lord willing, but just in case I don't make it, I just want to wish all the mothers out there a happy Mother's Day. And this is in whatever type of capacity you are. Some you might not be acknowledged as a mother, but you take on a mother's role. So I still just want to wish Happy Mother's Day to you as well. All right, you all. Bye.